Mr. Learning Today is sponsored by Moshe Stern, in memory of his father, Yisachar Dov ben Aaron Lev. To dedicate a day of learning, go to mishnah.co slash support. We're on Erevin, Perik Dalid Mishnah, fifth Mishnah and the fourth chapter of Erevin. We've talked about someone who is, let's say, he walked from outside of the Tchum Shabbat of Yav Bin Yamin and he made his, he made his Shvita here. So then we said he has 2,000 Amod. Why? Because when he makes, whenever a person makes a shvita, th- that's the two thousand, that's the two thousand amot that he gets. So if I stop here, then I get two thousand amot in every direction. I go to Yad Binyamin. If I stop here, I get two thousand amot in every direction. What happens if I didn't intentionally stop? What happens if, when Shabbat arrived, I didn't have in mind to make my shvita to establish my resting point at that point? That's the topic of our Mishnah. Mishyashen baderech, someone who before Shabbat. He, he's walking around on Friday afternoon, and he stops and he takes a rest. And when dark comes, i.e. when Ben Hashemashot comes, when he makes his Shvita, he doesn't know, he didn't have intention to make his Shvita. So the Tanakhama says, He still gets his 2,000 Amo. So he went to sleep over a year, then he wakes up and it's dark Friday night, oh, that's where he was Kovea Shvita, and therefore he can go 2,000 Amo in every direction. The Divrei Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri. That's the position of Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri. The Chachamim Omrim, no. Chachamim say, no. Ein lo ela arba amod. All he gets is four amod. He, why? Well, let's see. The, the Bartanura says the following. I'm going to read the Bartanura and then I'll show you that he makes it a chart. Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri holds, Cheftze hefker, she'en lehem dat. Let's say a person has a chefetz and, he, you know, like, I've got a little, uh, whatever, I've got a little uh, tin can here. I use it for a discount key. And I find it outside in the middle of hefker. So nobody found it. It has no dot. Does it have shvita? So ba'alim konim shvita bim komam. V'yesh lehem dem lem dat ba'alim. There's no dat ba'alim. There's no ownership. Konim shvita bim komam. V'yesh lehem al paim amal acharuch. So this inanimate object, since it has no dat on it, the shvita it gets before Shabbat is the shvita of its place, and therefore it gets two thousand amot. Therefore hayashen, someone who's sleeping, he also has no dat. So I made you a chart. So the yashen has no dat. Here we are. Okay. So just like a chefetz has shvita, so too, hayashen she'en lo dat, someone who's sleeping, okay, he is also like a chefetz hefker, and he also gets alpayim ama, just like my, my tin can has no dat, and it gets alpayim ama, so too, an individual a person who's sleeping also has no dat, and he gets, he gets 2,000 amot. Whereas the chachamim said, rabbanan sabre, chefetz hefker, hefker, ain't konim shvita bimkomam, the person who has, the, the chefetz doesn't have shvita, it's an inanimate object. It doesn't get to have a place, and therefore, therefore, uh, the person who picks it up, he can only take it to where he can go. So too, Hayashen eno kone shvita. There's no shvita. If you're a person, if you're sleeping, you have eno kone shvita. You have no shvita where you are, and therefore, when you wake up, all you get is dalet amot. It's really an interesting question. Is a person who's sleeping like a chefetz, like an individual, okay? And, and you're kone shvita. Oh, one second. Uh, so everyone seems to say you're like a chefetz. So does a chefetz have shvita or not have shvita? Is a sleeping person, so do you have to have da'at in order to make shvita on Shabbat? When, when Shabbat enters, say, this is my place. Or do I automatically have shvita like a chefetz hefker? And therefore I don't have to have da'at in order to make my shvita on Shabbat. That's the machloket between Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri and the Chachamim. Okay? Misha continues. So what happens though if you only have arba amo? What if we, like, for example... Person started in Yad Bin Yamin. Let's go back to my little chart. Okay, you made your Shvita in Yad Bin Yamin, and then a hurricane came or a tornado came and gently picked you up to lift you and stick you in Kidron, in Ba'onis. Okay, then you're stuck there. Eilo ela arba amot. What does that mean, Eilo ela arba amot? Rabbi Lezer Omer, Vuhu be'emta'an. You're in the middle of the arba amot. I made you a little graphic. So let's see if I can. Here we go. Here. The person, average height, the Bartidura says, is three amot. I'm a very dapper guy. And then you get an extra ama for, you know, moving around your hands. So you're in the middle, says Rabbi Eliezer. Look at the bar tunura. Okay. Uh, arba amot. Why? Because it says in the Torah, shvu ish tachtav. Person, we've seen this drasha before. You can sit tachtav. Komato shal adam benoni shalosh amot. A person's height is, average height is three amot. Ba'ama acha lifchot yadam You get one, you get one ama to stretch out your hands. So, basically... I mean, it's not, you're lying there, you have three amo plus one amo. Okay, you get the point. Okay, that's Rabbi Lazarus' position. He's in the middle. So, i.e., you only get two amo in each direction. It's four amo total, you only get two in each direction. Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah says, no. 
Okay, you, you can go in any direction you want. You can go in four amot in this direction. Okay. Umadi Rabbi Yehuda she'im be'rerlo. Rabbi Yehuda says if you picked one, she'eno yachol achzorbo. You can't go back. And the, the Kahati says, okay, le'ezrael she'yirtze yitol arba amot. You can carry four amot in one direction, but the Bartunura says that based on the Kahati says based on the Gemara that they're not arguing about walking. Okay, that Rechachamim say you can go eight amot. Okay, that that uh, that you're allowed to walk eight amot, meaning four amot in each direction. But the question is, what can you carry? Okay, for in carrying, the Rabbi 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 Yehuda uh, agrees that you can only carry four amot and not eight amot. So you can walk eight four amot in each direction, but carrying you can only carry four amot in this direction. Rabbi Ta- in the Tanakama, who was Rabbi Eliezer, says no, you can only carry from here to here. We'll stop here. As always, comments or questions should be emailed to my email address here, and we'll dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.